Hello everyone and welcome to Slip Joint Sawyer. Today we're going to be taking a look at another product from Viperaid and this is the Viperaid VE10 and this was kindly sent to the channel by Viperaid themselves so big shout out to them for sending us across and they were kind enough as well to provide me with a discount code for you guys if you wish to use it. I will put it up on the top of the screen somewhere during this but it's Slippy10 and it's on Viperaid.com 10% off all pouches on there. So you can go and grab yourself a deal, get some good stuff from them, but they do have some really fantastic stuff on offer at the moment. But we're going to do a bit of an in-depth look at the Viperade VE10, the sort of storages you can get, and what sort of things I, would, I normally carry in something like this. So from the outside, it's 3.7 inches across the bottom and it's 5.5 inches tall. You do get this sort of Velcro patch on the front where you can add your Ranger eyes, things like that, morale patches, whatever you wish to put on there. Um, and there's also two of the larger slots on the front. Now, I tend to, if I'm carrying a pouch this big, I won't sort of take a wallet as well. So you can see I've sl I've slipped my cards in there and my ID, things like that on the front. There is this sort of nice nylon pouch. It's really well made. It's really heavy duty. You can see we have the Viperade logo here and then Viperade tactical equipment. We do have this sort of carabiner clip on here, which I've put one on, and I would use that really if I'm going to hook it to a pack. You know, you can really hook that on. It's a nice sturdy, sturdy little little tab. It's not going to come off, and you know it'll be secured on whatever you're carrying it in. And along with that, you get this nice zipper closure. You can see it zips all the way around. No gaps, no way, no way anything is going to fall out of that. So this is a really great product from them, and I've really been enjoying the VE15, so I wanted to check this one out. So we'll zip it open and take a look what I've got inside. So there's quite a lot of storage room in this and I'm really impressed with the, the amount of stuff I can get in it. Different things, I have knives, pens, there's a pry bar, multi-tools, things like that. And you'll be probably be surprised, as I, I was, with how much I could get in this. And I think it's a fantastic bit of kit. They do offer it as well in multiple colours. You know, if you're familiar with my channel or anything, me, you'll know that black is my favourite colour, hence why I went for the black. But we're going to go through the inside now and take a look what we've got. So it does advertise this sort of two large slip pockets inside, which I'll just move that torch out and we'll take a look. So there's a large slip pocket here and then one at the back. So this larger slip pocket is actually sewn into two slots and we'll take a look what I've got in these. So in the smaller half, I do have this Victorinox Compact. Of course, it's the custom one I had made by Blade Bridge Customs. Great bit of kit, compact, probably my favourite Victorian Ox of all time. You get a, the full size blade and the scissors, pretty much what I'd love to have on every Victorian Ox. And then on the larger of the other side, I do have this Olight. This is the Warrior Nano, that's their new sort of release. That fits snugly in this size. It's a nice sort of size to fit in that gap. You could probably hook it over the top as well if you wanted to, but I really do like it that it's not so much as hidden, but protected behind this sort of nylon flap. I think that's great as well and along with that I did have this little smaller flashlight in there as well maybe you don't want to get this big bulky one out for whatever you're doing so I did include this little the Olight free gift for Halloween or you can see the, the Olight um, i3e EOS and this is obviously in the orange with the skull design on there as well so that's what I had in this side we do have as well two smaller nylon sort of mesh compartments one thing i will note though when these two back ones are filled with quite chunky things they're quite hard to get anything into because they're not stretchy it's just sort of normal sort of nylon so maybe you could utilize these different ways maybe a couple of coins in each one if you can get them to fit in there that sort of thing and um, there is a key ring hook on here as well i tend to carry my keys in my back pocket separate from my edc gear so i wouldn't be putting any keys on there as well but i may get a little tiny clip and i might clip this little torch down here just so it's you know, it's suspended from inside the pouch rather than just having it loose like I had it in the top. Left hand side then, I do have this little pen. And of course, this is from Olight as well. This is the Olight O-Pen. Great little bolt action pen. Really fantastic bit of kit. Carry this literally every day. It's one of my most carried EDC things at the moment. And you can see as well from this side, we do have one large mesh sort of pocket here. And then we do have the three elasticated slips on the back as well. But as you can probably see, same similar sort of story really as the mesh on the front of here. It's quite hard to get anything else in there. Say for example, I have a knife in this one. You, I've tucked the knife in there because you're not going to be able to fit much in there. 
it's the same with the large pocket as the back i do think it's great you can get a lot of gear in here maybe if you organize it a little bit differently compared to i have you might be able to get a bit more in but this is the sort of the max i would want to take out really on any, any given sort of trip and this would be what i would go for a couple of days if i'm doing like a, just a day i probably wouldn't take a couple of these bits but this is more like for my weekend away so we can see then this middle elastic i do have this little pry book tool i picked up recently this is the gerber shard nice little multi-tool really get the little pry here you've got the cap lifter you have the phillips screwdriver as well and they are advertising these as be as two flathead sizes you've got a smaller and a large not been one really for pry tools but i wanted to give them a go and i'm doing this little edc kit so i wanted to grab one and see what it's all about but i am quite enjoying it i think it's a nice little bit of gear and then in the main back slot for this i do have a leatherman and this is the leatherman pst so of course that is the the uk legal one with the it does have the slip joint knife on there and then a good selection of other tools as well and obviously leathermans are known for made in the usa and that fantastic pair of pliers and i just love the fact with these that they fold up in such a compact design i mean look how narrow that is it's lightweight as well i wouldn't say this is heavy i'd happily have this in my pocket all day and i wouldn't even notice it was there and then along with this i have the knife i'd be carrying for the day which at the moment my pretty much go-to is this Heine Haynes edition Boca Tech Tool 1 in the carbon fiber. This is the black shred carbon fiber as you can see. Great little slip joint knife. One that's really sort of taken a great place in my pocket really being that sort of modern sodbuster design. Really enjoy using that. But I'm as I was saying like I'm really impressed with this bit of kit from Viperade. Very grateful they sent it along with me to check out. I just think it's a fantastic carry option as you can have as little in it as you want or as much in it as you want. And if you've got a couple of bits and pieces in it, it is very slender. Like even with all these bits in it, it wasn't much wider than the spine. And I think that's absolutely fantastic. But I'll load it up again now and then we can sort of see the width and what other bits, the other configurations we can get in. So of course I was saying I had my Olight. I had it in the back here. And you can see what I mean here by it's quite tough to get anything inside there. But this is the sort of the way I would carry it. And that's the sort of go-to for me. And I have my compact then. This side, the little tiny Olight for now. Until I get a little carabiner, I'll place that in the top just above all this stuff up here. I'll turn the torch off like an idiot. The Tech Tool 1. I'm slipping that inside the velcro on this side and then underneath that mesh as well for that little extra bit of security leatherman pst in the back pocket all the way down in the middle olight open again pretty much same as the, the knife inside the velcro and then inside that as well and then the gerber shard i've just been tucking that just inside this little bit of just inside this little bit of elastic here and that holds that in there nicely so you can see when that's all closed up, we're not looking at a too bulky design. We'll be looking at for a full sort of width. Eh. Maybe sort of like two inches wide. That's not too bad. It fits in the pocket really comfortably. This sort of size pouch, most of you will probably be carrying it in like a, a satchel or maybe a backpack. And that's pretty much how I'd be carrying this sort of thing. As I mentioned, you know, it's a going away bit of kit for me. And that's where I would sort of carry that as well. So as I mentioned, they do have this in other colour options. I know there's a red, there's a sort of a, a blue, a burgundy. And what I do quite like is they think they call it like the X-Pack. I'm think pretty sure that's what it's called. And where it's a slightly more durable material, it's like an luminous green. I believe there's a blue as well. That does look really cool. So I might have to check that one out as well. But there we go, guys. That's my sort of review of the Viperade VE10. Sort of this multi-function sort of edc carry case and it's you can as you can see i've got quite a lot of gear in here there's still room to add more so if you really want to check this out i would recommend getting this ve10 and anything on the viper aid range they do a fantastic set of stuff so there we go guys i really hope you enjoyed this i hope it was useful for you i hope you've sort of maybe leaning towards giving these a go so i really do recommend them. they are fantastic so i hope you enjoyed this please be sure to like subscribe and ring that bell for notifications Hope to catch you here again. Peace out.